She told me to follow her. I found myself in that entrance hall where the grey-haired man was still sitting behind the counter. Christina walked through the door behind him. She returned quickly and said that we should climb the stairs that I hadn't noticed before. They were on the left side of the entrance and covered with red carpet. The floor was reduced to a long corridor full of doors, rooms where the prostitutes did their job. Our room was somewhere in the middle. She asked me to take my shoes off. I left my Air Max sneakers beside the mat where she was maintaining her balance while taking off her boots. At one point she grabbed my shoulder for support. The moment of truth was nearing. But when she finally took off her boots, that moment was postponed once again. She was wearing green socks with purple flowers. Christina entered the room without taking them off. And why should she do that? With such an ass and legs, nobody would dream of kissing and licking her feet or rubbing his dick against them. I will tell her. But how? We were in the room for a few minutes now. I was standing while she was sitting on the bed and watching me. You'll have to undress if we are to do anything, Christina pointed out. Well, we surely won't do it dressed, I replied with a laugh. I must have looked like a fool since I wanted to strip as soon as we entered, but didn't do it because immediate jumping out of the clothes struck me as immature. Boorish, to be more precise. I undressed. Lay down and relax, Christina said. How can I tell her to take off her socks? She started kissing me. First my face, then body, and finally around the dick. I felt a mild direction, but then it froze. In vain, she sucked my balls, licked my dick, groaned, twisted, and squirmed. My cock was lying like slaughtered on my shaved groin, and the pricky area was unpleasant to the touch. I jerked off in the hope of getting a heart on. I told her to get on all fours and raise her ass back. I licked her butt and wanked. My dick managed to harden just enough for penetration. I rolled on a condom, which immediately softened my poor erection for at least 20%. However, with Christina's help, I managed to push into her. I moved a few times and then pulled out since my dick softened so much that it threatened to slip out. I lay down again and she resumed kissing and licking. Christina rolled a new condom on my cock and went down on me. She blew me in vain. It must have been frustrating to tongue trace that tiny snake that was refusing to harden. She even treated me ten minutes, but to no avail. And I thought that you were going to nail me, she muttered. I didn't hear you, I said. Oh, nothing. Just one more thing, I started seriously, forcing myself to grin. Not a word about this to my friend. She laughed and said that I shouldn't worry. We left her room and parted at the foot of the stairs. I returned to the room with the stage. Damir and taxi driver greeted me with wide smiles. I was desperate because I didn't fuck but managed to fake an exalted grin. I can see by your smile it was vile, Damir said. It was great, I confirmed. She really is skilled. Yes, yes, Dan joined in. She surely looks fiery. As soon as I sat down, the waiters brought the bill.